What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and oh man, not something you see very often on this channel. A lot of people don't know my true love for SIG. I love SIG. I love the AXG Legions, I love the 224s, the 226s, the 250s. I love the hammer-fired SIGs, right? That's preferably what I like. I did own a P320, great shooting gun, handled awesome, but I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. P365s have given me some issues. They're great shooting handguns. They're awesome if you get a reliable one. So typically I like the hammer fired SIGs and I like them a lot, right? Today we're going to be going over a handgun that I did want to get. This isn't mine. So shout out to my buddy Dan for letting me review this product um, as I thought you guys would like it on this channel. In front of me are three other single stacks we're going to compare it to. Let's get into it, guys. Right here we have the Sig Sauer P930. Eight. What a gem. Look at that. That is a heck of a pickup. I think he paid $450 used for it. Man, I love the stainless. Look at that. Let's just take a minute and look at it. Sound like Ed Bassmaster. Just look at it. No, would you look at it? No, seriously, though. Look at that. That is a piece of art. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is awesome. This thing is sick. Eventually, I would like to get my hands on the P938 like this. One of the variations. They have so many different color variations. Woo! Look at that matching mag. <clears throat> Sorry. Woo! Man, that thing looks clean, right? Let's get into it. Like I said, he paid $250 for it. And what did it come with? It came with two mags. Now, in this setup right here, it is six plus one. This is probably how I'd run it because I get a good one and a half fingers on it. And it actually feels pretty good in the hand. It's a very ergonomic handgun for how small it is. When you come down to the thick, um, down to the grip of the grip module, it actually gets thicker, which I like. Notice on my 43. Notice on my XDS. Go look at all my videos on my shields. And on the CZ, they don't make one for it, so I just have it grip taped up. Even though this one does get a bit wider in the grip, I like a little bit wider of a handgun. Um, even though it's a single stack and the points to be thin, it's just what I like. It's preference. Then this right here is 7 plus 1, and that even looks very clean and very smooth. And it feels good in the hand. I get a solid two and a half fingers on it. And like I said, it feels really dang good in the hand. Now, one thing I noticed is everything on this handgun functions really well. If my hand's not in the way, obviously you just saw it launches it out. Racking it is very smooth, just like the P250 or all hammer-fired SIGs. They just rack so nicely, so clean. And if you have bad hands, that is a big positive, a big benefit. Now, these are when SIG would make amazing mags. Just like their handguns, in my opinion, they're hammer-fired. Older handguns are just so much better. It's the pinnacle of SIG. That's what SIG should be known for. Obviously, the P365 revolutionized the concealed carry market. But, I mean, these hammer-fired, I don't care about capacity. The thing is a shooter. The thing looks good. It feels good. It's just an awesome handgun. So right here are the mags. Look at the quality. You're not going to see rusting like you do with the new SIG mags. Look at that. Absolutely love it, right? We're going to get into the trigger in a second and some comparisons. The only um, problem or the only, uh, what do you call it, wear and tear that this firearm has is on the barrel. But that's just common. I mean, you know, all my handguns have wear on the barrel. That's just part of the game, right? So not a big deal this thing is in really good shape look at the slide no dings no dents no marring no marks really nice no forward serrations because back then forward serrations weren't a big deal even my you know gen 3 glock 26s gen 4s didn't have forward serrations awesome sig night sights not sure if they work a lot of the older tritium sights do not work anymore hey these ones do not bad so sig night sights which actually look pretty dang good on this handgun sort of matches it with that you know faded white in the back Awesome stainless steel controls. You know, you can run it cocked and locked. That's how I recommend running it. I wouldn't recommend it um, running it like this because this trigger is so dang short. This is basically a 1911 style micro pistol, right? And I would take this over the Kimber 9, you know, uh, 911s or whatever they're called, the Springfield 911s, that whole sort of thing. These just, <laughs> it's so much better. It's so much better. I kid you not. This than a Kimber all day long. Nothing against Kimbers if you have one. But this right here is just unbelievable. I really like this handgun. Absolutely love it. The grips, you can change out to whatever you want, but these look really nice on them. Shiny here, a lot of texturing here. 
Um, I maybe would prefer a little bit more texturing all around, but not bad at all. Feels pretty good for how small the handgun is. Um, finish, beautiful. This is <laughs> Pinnacle Sig, I'm telling you. The finish is just flawless. Because look at the barrel wear. Even the barrel wear. The finish on the barrel is so much better than these new SIGs. Look at that. Even with the wear, you can tell how much nicer. It's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go ahead and check out that trigger. Then we'll do some comparisons. <laughs> just ridiculous. Now, it's going to be about six pounds, right? It's going to be about six and a half pounds. But it's short, crisp, clean. Reset. Dang. Reset. Dang. Clean, smooth, crisp, and no grit. There is no grit whatsoever. Last time we're going to do it, it's hammer fired. No grit. I mean, just clean, defined wall. That's what you want for a self-defense pistol. I don't want a three-pound 1911 trigger. I don't want a four-pound 1911 trigger. I want something about five to seven pounds that has a defined wall, but a crisp, clean break, and a nice reset. That's what I want for um, a defensive trigger. If I'm going to go competition shooting or race shooting, then yes, you want something else. But this, just perfect. I actually really, really like it. <laughs> I like this thing. I'm not going to lie. I'm sort of getting mesmerized by it. Anyways, let's throw the 7-round mag in and compare it like that. Right here, we have the XDS, 7 plus 1, 7 plus 1. Both sort of have like that pinky extension to it. Um, let's check out size-wise. So it, does it beat the XDS? It beats it by just a hair, but it does beat it. Slides about the same size, grip, or frame on the SIG is a little wider without the grip on. With the grip on, this is obviously wider. But pretty full cool comparison with the XDS uh, Mod 1. That's slide to slide, which is crazy. That's beaver tail to beaver tail. And then that's barrel to barrel. Very cool comparison. Right here, CZ P10M, 7 plus 1 as well. And they are even. 7 plus 1. Slide on the CZ is wider and thicker. Frame is thicker on the SIG. Let's go slide to slide, which is just crazy again. But beaver tail to beaver tail. Obviously, you have a larger beaver tail being hammer fired, all that. And then barrel to barrel. Very nice comparison. But obviously, you can see the overall footprint of the SIG is just smaller. And it has a really low bore axis. Let's check out that XDS again. See, it's just a much smaller footprint. Even though, like, when you compare them side by side, they look very similar. But you can tell that it's, you know, noticeably smaller. Then Glock 26, or sorry, so you say Glock 43. This right here is 6 plus 1, unless I put mag guts in it. But this one does not have mag guts. Let's see. There's slide to slide, but even width and slide. Obviously, the SIG is going to be wider in that um, frame. But that's because of the grip, stuff like that. But it feels really good in the hand, like I said. So we'll only give up a little width for that. And I throw a grip on mine anyway. So it is what it is. As you can see, the SIG beats the 43 in capacity. Then there's slide to slide, beaver tail to beaver tail, which ends up at barrel to barrel. Overall, it seems smaller with more capacity than the 43. These are the SIGs I'm talking about. Give me these all day long. I love these things. These are just gems. Um, 7 plus 1, I'm fine with this. Awesome little pocket pistol. Um, yes, it would be my main carry, you know, just around my neighborhood, in the area, you know, stuff like that. But if I'm going somewhere where I know there's a lot of people, you know, more spread out, stuff like that, then yes, I'm obviously going with something a little bit bigger. You can also use this as a backup carry. People call me crazy for that. But I, the reason why is I personally know someone who was a cop and their backup carry saved their life. So I've always been a strong advocate for, if you can throw something small like this in the pocket or the ankle or whatever the case may be, just, just in case, there's nothing wrong with that. But I really like the Six Hour P938. I think it's a gem. I would eventually like to get my hands on one um, and give it a go as well. So love this thing, super cool. Thanks for watching, guys.